Hello everyone, my name is Mama Hearts Makeup and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you my interpretation of La Llorona or the Weeping Woman. I did one side as more skeletal and the other is the actual weeping side. So it's kind of like a two-in-one kind of thing, but yeah, this could be a Black Widow or anything like that. But let's just jump on into the tutorial. I'm putting my hair back, getting me some liquids. Hydration is important, people. And yes, I do put ice in my wine because I want it to stay cold. But anyway, okay, I'm starting out with this white concealer by LA Girl. Not concealer, it's foundation. <laughs> and then I added a bit of my regular foundation, just a tiny bit kind of mix that up because the one side where it's just where she's kind of like dead I want it to be pale but not necessarily stark white so I place this on one side of my face now I went over the ear I discovered later on I didn't really need to do that because um, I'm gonna wear a wig so you don't really see it anyway just kind of blend it into the hairline you don't have to go too far in because again like I said I'm gonna be wearing a wig later so on this side, I just went in with the white foundation on its own. I wanted the side that was the skull side to be a little bit more um, stark white. Now I'm setting the entire face with this loose translucent powder. When I was done, I don't know if you could tell the difference of the white and the not so white side, but it's okay. Now I go in and do my brows. You've seen me do my brows before, so I just kind of skip over this real fast. And now starting on the skull side, I'm using mostly shadows for this portion. I think I use only shadows for this portion actually. And you just want to sketch out the, I guess, the cheekbone part of the skull and the temples there going in a little bit at a time with kind of a dark brown color. Just really take your time with it, kind of feel your underlying bones, like your cheekbones. Now I'm going here on to the forehead, just creating some depth with that same shadow. I'm going in just a little bit at a time, working it further into the temples. A little bit more wine, yes I'm chewing the ice. <laughs> Now using this contour powder, um, bronzing powder, whatever you use it for, on the side of the skull portion. And now going in for a little detail work with like a cool toned kind of grayish brown color. Don't, you know, worry about what colors I'm using exactly. Just go ahead and use any equivalent colors that you have. Now I'm going in with a little bit of white powder, well it's a white eyeshadow just for a little highlight there. And now slowly working onto the eye socket portion of the skull side, going back and forth with a dark brown and then blending it with like a lighter beige color, just for some depth and definition. Now using that same kind of gray brownish color to really define that socket shape. It doesn't have to be too neat or precise. Using good old jumbo pencil, jumbo pencil? NYX jumbo pencil in black bean. And this is just like to hold onto the, the eyeshadow, like the black eyeshadow will hold onto this. Now going in a little bit at a time with your favorite black eyeshadow, smoking out the lower lash line real, real good because it's supposed to be, you know, the skull side. And now just going in kind of with like a purpley color just for some more depth. I want to say I use purple and gray for this portion. And now I'm defining that eye socket shape a little bit more with that first brown color. It's a lot, a lot of adding and then blending so you can see I'm gonna blend a little bit here just so it's kind of blown out adding some more black shadow for depth I'm 
And now adding that same kind of purpley shade just for a little bit more, you know, depth and definition. Now just on this half, I'm going to be doing that skull kind of nose with just black eyeliner. And using a white jumbo pencil just for little highlighting. Now using that same kind of purpley color to define the nose shape and then kind of drag it down a little bit. Now starting on this other side, I believe this was the Benefit uh, Hula Bronzer and then kind of cleaning it up with some white powder there. I believe it was white eyeshadow actually. Going in with this taupey kind of grayish brown color to really define that shape so my cheekbones look a little sunken in. A little bit on the temple and now we're really hollowing out the different areas on my face starting with the nose under the lip kind of around the lips to kind of give a little depth and definition and then going over that with some white powder just to kind of mute it a little bit I didn't want it too harsh and now carving out the area so different parts of my face on this particular side just look sunken in, not skeletal, just kind of sunken in. It's a lot of adding and blending. Now working on the eye socket part too. We want it to look a little sunken in. Adding and blending once again. Really, really blowing that out. I didn't want anything too definitive on this side. Going in with that same lavender-y color and a little bit of gray. And just to make certain areas pop, I added the white pencil and then blended it out with an eyeshadow brush. So some parts would look sunken in, some parts would look kind of popping out a little bit. And there we go, defining different areas on the face. And what I do to one side of the contour I do to the other side just um, for some cohesiveness. Blend, use your fingers to make it look a little more blown out. Now I'm going in with a super nude lipstick. I wanted it to look very, very, not well dead I guess, and um, not too much color. So I put a shadow over that just to mute it a little bit more. And I'm going onto the center of the lip with dark gray shadow. And now on the side of um, the face that is the skull side, I'm going to go ahead and draw in some little skeletal teeth here. Just using black shadow, you know, lining the lips so it looks like teeth and then just continuing it back, making the lines a little bit longer. You know, I kind of wing my makeup ideas, so I was kind of figuring it out as I went along. Just a little bit at a time, working with the shadows is good for this. It's nothing too harsh. Now going in with the white pencil for the teeth. Just kind of placing the color down where the teeth would be on the face. And then kind of going over that with some powder just to mute it a little bit because I didn't want it too, too white. Now I'm creating just kind of like a mini wing with shadow here. I wanted a little more drama on this side and kind of blending it out with the gray and purple shadow as well. Defining a little bit more of the sunken in portions, giving me a little, you know, bags under my eyes. Kind of defining the nose just a little bit. I thought that looked a little bit better diffusing that with some powder and now using this highlight just in certain areas like the cheekbone part I wanted it to stick out just a little bit more the high point of the brow a little bit on the nose and then a little bit more above the eyebrow on the forehead just to define it just a little bit more 
There we go, and blend it in with my finger so it kind of melts into the skin. Creating a little tear duct action there, blending that in with my finger. And I decided that I would use this highlight for the base of the tears on the skeleton side, on the skull side. And then I went over that with this glitter kind of um, liner here. A little tear on the inner tear duct. And then I did the same on the outer corner of the eye. Just a haphazard kind of tear shape. And there we go. And that's one side. A little sip. <laughs> and now on the portion where she's actually weeping, I used a face paint for this. Water, acted, um, water activated face paint. I tried to make the tears go down my face. It proved a little bit more difficult than I originally anticipated. So I just kept adding more water as I went along to make them kind of drip down my face a little bit easier. And this is the water activated paint. I don't know if I said that already. I'm kind of jumping around trying to make the tears go down my face. Because I wanted it to be actual tears. I didn't want to drag the brush down my face. And there we go, dripping down my face like tears do. And I used black for this just for, you know, the drama, the spookiness. Okay, and there are the tears. Now I put on a wig and this wannabe veil for drama. I was really, really feeling this look. I didn't know how it would turn out, but I honestly really, really love this makeup look. I didn't show the chest piece that I did because I'm really not good with the body painting, but um, now that I look at it, I probably should have recorded it, so my bad, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>